Hi, Anita Faye. Hi, Faye. Hi. We heard you weren't feeling well, and we thought we would read you a story. Yeah. Here we go. This story's called Ribbit. All right. Once upon a time, there was a pond that was home to a family of frogs. But one morning, they discovered a surprise visitor. It was a pig, a little pink pig, sitting on a rock. Goodness, said the frogs, why is there a pig in our pond? The chief frog spoke up. Ahem. Good morning. What can we do for you? And to their amazement, the little pig answered. Ribbit! What did he say? cried the frogs. Does he think he's a frog? Is he making fun of us? But again, all the little pig said was... News of the little pig who thought he was a frog spread fast. This new relative of yours is a little pink. He's no relation of ours, declared the frogs. He certainly sounds like a frog. Why would a pig want to be a frog? What's wrong with being a frog? exclaimed the frogs. Everyone started shouting at each other while the little pig just sat there practicing his ribbon. Finally, the chief frog cried, Stop! We must go and find the wise old beetle. He'll know what to do. The wise old beetle, gasped all the animals. But he hates to be disturbed. I know, said the chief frog. But this is very serious. So off they went. And the little pig said, Ribbit? The animals found the wise old beetle and tried to explain the problem. In the end, he agreed to go with them to the pond. But when they arrived... See the little beetle? Right down there. Uh-oh. All gone. No pig. Where did the pig go? The animals cried. Who was he? What did he want? Maybe, said the wise old beetle, he just wanted to make new friends. And off he went. Oh, 
Oh, dear, said the animals. They hadn't thought of that. And sure enough, sitting high up in a tree nearby was the little pig. Tweet! Here he is, sitting with the birdies. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. He was surrounded by new friends. The end. We hope you feel better, Anita Faye. We love you. We love you, Anita Faye.